everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. In today's video, I'm doing a clean with me of my kids' spaces. I am a mom of three kids, two boys ages seven and two, and a girl who is four. I'll be cleaning their bedrooms, the bathroom, and the playroom. I spend three evenings cleaning all these spaces, but they all need a good clean. I find cleaning can be quite relaxing sometimes. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. My channel is a lifestyle channel with videos that include cleaning motivation, organization, and decluttering. I post weekly videos on Wednesdays, and if you enjoy my content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss future videos from me. Let's do this. The first space I cleaned was our boys' room. The room isn't too bad as my oldest plays only with his Lego in their room, otherwise plays downstairs in the playroom. My youngest only sleeps in the room, so he has only a few toys up here that he might bring up at nap time or at bedtime. I want to get the blinds and the windows clean, tidy up a bit, vacuum, and take any toys back downstairs that should be in the playroom and not in their room. I'm curious to know, what is the space in your home that you dread clean the most? Let me know in the comments below. I always dread clean the playroom because I know as soon as I clean it, it won't be long before it's a mess again. The vacuum that I use is the, is the Dyson V11 Absolute. It's great because it's cordless, it's easily portable around the house, it's not too heavy and therefore we do vacuum a lot more often now because we're not dragging a hose around the house or anything really heavy. The next space I cleaned was the kids' bathroom. It's a Jack and Jill bathroom, so it's in between both of their rooms, so the only access to the bathroom is from their bedrooms. Next day I cleaned my daughter's room. This took a few hours to do as we had let it go for way too long and it was very messy. 
She has a lot more toys in her room than the boys do as she has all her Barbies, her dolls, and some dress up things and such in her room. As I went through her room, I found a lot of toys from the playroom that had migrated to her room, so we took those back downstairs. I also cleaned her windows and blinds and vacuumed. I ended up vacuuming her room the next day as I had to clean the filter in our vacuum and had to wait 24 hours to let it dry. I love sharing cleaning and organizing videos with you, but let me know in the comments if there's any other specific videos or type of content that you'd like to see on my channel. Last space I cleaned was the playroom. My husband had just given it a bit of a tidy as he had already put away some of the toys that I had brought down from the kids' rooms. The playroom was definitely one of the most used spaces in our home.
Now that I've finished cleaning all the spaces, here's the final look at them all clean. They didn't sink lean for long, but it felt good to get them done and know that they had been vacuumed and dusted recently. Thank you for joining me for today's video and I hope that you got some cleaning motivation from it. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up as it does help my channel a lot. If you enjoy my content, I would love to have you as, as a subscriber to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!